number of positions on offense, so we'll just call him an athlete. And he came dressed appropriately for our press conference. We'll start here on the left side. Yeah, look, Tyler Shaw with KBTX in, in College Station. Uh, just first off, mind explaining the uh, the, the, out, the the hat and the outfit cho- choice? Well, I just the the station I just came from, you had to customize a hat, so I figured we're in Dallas, Texas. Why not customize a a nice hat? So, yeah. Okay, front row here. AP Stedham, AP and Kelly, as we see at Syndicated Radio. What do you think you're going to have the most um, effect on the offense this year? At what position and how many do you think you might play? I think just for me, um, you know, this year and, and even last year, uh, the, the biggest thing was just doing whatever I can to get out on the field and help the team. Um, and whether that was, you know, playing wide receiver or whether that was, you know, covering kicks on special teams, um, you know, I, I was more than willing to do it and I still am. Um, and it's something that, you know, I, I had a lot of lot of fun doing last year. Uh, so I look forward to doing that again this year and, uh, you know, just, like I said, doing whatever I can to help the team win. Right side on the aisle. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. Spencer, uh, moving on to the NFL. What, what's the quarterback position uh, looking like for you guys? Uh, so it's a, a active competition right now. Um, Lenora Sellers is, is the guy. Um, you know, coming out of spring, but um, as Coach Beamer has said, and, uh, you know, it, it's still a competition. Um, Lenore's has still got to do a great job of, um, you know, continuing to get better, uh, leading, you know, the offense and the team. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's – it's we, we've got guys in that room that, um, you know, no matter who's out on the field, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be put in a, in a position to have success and win games. Um, but at the same time, you know, those everybody in that room has each other's backs. Um, like I said, no matter who's out there, they're going to have everyone's support, uh, everybody on the team, everybody in the quarterback room. Everybody's, you know, for each other and wants to see each other succeed. Right side on the aisle. Jacob Morris, Big Trail Nation. Rocket Sanders transferring in in the offseason. Just what have your impressions been of him and what does he bring to the table? Yeah. I mean, he's just – he's all about business, and that's that's what I've seen from him from the, the day that, that he stepped on campus. Uh, you know, he, he comes in every single day uh, early in the morning to do treatment, um, you know, get his body right for the day, and then obviously work out. He'll go do more treatment, um, you know, come back in the afternoon, maybe do some more, you know, some more stuff for, with the running backs. Uh, just he, he does everything the right way. Um, and he's the kind of guy that, you know, that, that younger, you know, younger running backs, younger guys on the team, um, they look up to him and, and they see how he handles himself, you know, on a daily basis um, because he, he, he carries himself like a pro. Um, and, I, and I think that's going to gonna pay off for him, you know, this year uh, going forward, just being able to stay out there on the field and, um, you know, have, have a big time role on offense. Left side, fifth row. Uh, Trevor Denton from Way 31. I feel like everyone in the nation is wondering right now uh, what team they're going to be in EA Sports College Football 25. So what would be your pitch to people for why they should maybe do a dynasty or play as the South Carolina Gamecocks? Uh, I feel like it's a, you know, we have a team that uh, has a lot of depth um, and, and a lot of uh a lot of athletes in in a lot of different positions and uh, that goes for offense and defense um you know you're going to get explosive players on both sides um and you're going to be able to have a lot of success on both sides so uh, you know playing playing with us is, is going to make you some money right side front row and then pass the microphone mason you know, tulsa world luke you've played quarterback some in this league there's a lot of veteran quarterbacks in this league this year, but there's also a lot of newcomers. Is there anything, advice, wisdom for those younger guys, maybe like a Lenoris, about what you have to do to excel at that position in this league? Yeah. I think the biggest thing is, uh, you know, blocking out the noise um, is something that I've always tried to live by. Um, and it's, you know, helped me get to where I am today. It's just, uh, you know, keeping everything in house, like, having your support system with you um, at all times and not paying attention to what 
you know, media, the news, you know, articles, just everything outside of, you know, the people in the building and your coaches, uh, not paying attention to that stuff and just keeping your head down and just continuing to work. Uh, I think that's, that's really the biggest thing. My, my biggest piece of advice is just uh, stay the course because, you know, it can never get too high, can never get too low. Uh, stay the course, stay right in the middle, level-headed. You're going to have a success. Uh, Luke, Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World. First of all, my daughter is a huge Star Wars fan, so I just <laughs> want to let you know that because oh, I understand yeah. that's, that's right in your wheelhouse, oh, yeah. right? So, no doubt. Um, I wanted to ask you, how big growing up was uh, Brent Venable's name in your part of the country, and mm-hmm. what's it going to be like playing Oklahoma, with, and what did they bring to the Southeastern Conference? Yeah, I mean, he was a, a big name, obviously, at, at Clemson, um, you know, play, playing them every single year and having to, to face him was – you know, it was definitely a challenge. Um, and obviously he's at, uh, at Oklahoma now, and um, he's done a great job there so far. And, uh, you know, it's another game that we're going to have to play. And, you know, it's, it's the SEC. Every game is going to be a challenge. So um, I'm excited to go out there and, and play at OU. Um, it's going to be a great atmosphere. It's going to be a great time. And, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be fun to uh, – you know, experience that that atmosphere uh, for the first time in our conference. Left side, third row. Britton Ross, OU Knightley. Kind of following up on that, has Coach Beamer talked about anything going, you know, obviously him going back to OU and mm-hmm. then um, maybe just a little bit more about, like, the tradition um, that the Sooners have? Yeah, I think, you know, and, and he's kind of said the same thing. It's it's just another game for us. Obviously, he's, you know, had some – had done some time there and, you know, he, he's from there – uh, coaching wise, but yeah, I mean, I think it's just like I said, it's another game for us. Um, obviously, him going back there, uh, I'm sure will will be will be cool for him. But uh, he's going to treat it just like we, just like I said, it's another game. We're going to prepare for them just the same as we're going to prepare for Old Dominion. Uh, you know, week zero, so uh, it'll be it'll be a cool experience for sure. Any other questions for Luke? Okay, another one here on the left. Hey, Luke, what would you just say offensively um, kind of strengths of this team are and, and just kind of what um, confidence do you have that you guys will have a bounce back here? I think we've got playmakers pretty much everywhere you look on the field, um, at wide receiver, at tight end, at quarterback, at running back. Um, you talk about our offensive line and the strides that they're making um, this off season and this past spring ball. Um, you know, I, I just can't say enough – good things about those guys, the big guys up front, uh, because as much, as much, you know, criticism and, and stuff that they took last season, um, they've done nothing but work their tails off and, you know, do everything they can to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So I'm super proud of those guys. Uh, I'm super proud of the way that really our offense as a whole has worked, uh, you know, not starting from January, to where we are right now in the summer. I mean, everybody from the, like I said, the wide receivers to the tight ends to the running backs, uh, everybody has just worked so hard. And, uh, you know, I think we're in a really good place, uh, obviously physically and mentally going into camp uh, to where we can, you know, hit the ground running on day one and uh, carry that momentum, you know, into week zero. Good job, Luke, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you guys.